All right, welcome. Black Heart Cinema Podcast. It's Todd Fletcher. And me. With me as always, Mr. Whitehead. And Hello, hello. Joe, joining us is Ian, of course, and our legal counsel as always, Mr. Hudson. Yep. What's up, y'all? Hello. We are, we're doing a little movie tonight. Uh, Whitehead, this one's dedicated this episode, correct? We're doing this one for... Uh, Jason Carpenter. For Jason Carpenter of <clears throat> of Dead Rabbit Radio. <laughs> uh, we we tricked him. He thought one of our videos was uh, the 2002 uh, blockbuster XXX. Triple X. St- starring Vin Diesel. So guess and, what we and, watched. And we had done, and it was a porn episode. And, uh, you know, since you were tricked, we thought, hey, let's just do that. Cause we're going to watch it for you. Yeah, because... I could not remember if I had seen this movie, but I'd seen the sequel, and I had a vague idea of what this movie was. And this is one I only ever saw once or twice, maybe, So uh, all the way through. Yeah. But I think it goes without saying we are flattered that he even listens. Yes. Thank so you, So thank you for that, Jason. We appreciate it, brother. But uh, we're going to talk yes. about this movie now for you. Uh, Whitehead, you've never <laughs> seen it, correct? With, like You've realized about halfway through you've never seen it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what movie is that? <laughs> yeah, what is that? Sorry, Hudson's pulling up uh, pictures of Vin Diesel on the on the monitor. From group to Dominic Toretto, is that that's maybe Gotti? That's his character in uh, Find Me Guilty. Yeah, but I've uh, never heard of it. It's just weird because he has hair in it. Yeah, yeah, it looks I, really I don't weird. like it. But and, um, and, and it's like the widow's peak as well. Uh, Ian, have you seen Triple X? Um, uh, man, I think I saw it. Like, I saw it. Like um, when it came out, kind of. Thing? Yeah, cause uh, cause um, it's funny that uh, Matt had that story about the uh, name because my grandma did that as well. Whenever they had it up in the uh, in the theater, oh, uh, she thought like uh-uh. she saw it triple X and they were red letters, and she goes because she was talking about yeah, pretty much because she was she was talking to my mom on the phone later. She was like. She's like, oh my god! She's like, they're showing pornos down at the uh, thing. And I was like, nah, <laughs> that, that's an action movie. But like, uh, I think we saw we had rented it on like pay per view or something, something like back that. In the like, day. Yeah, like shortly after you know it had gone to video or whatever. Well, why did? Because you're the last time the first time you've ever seen it. You start off with it, brother. Uh, it starts out with uh, a senator going uh, like parking his car and being a general asshole and a racist. To uh, what he thought was valet, but in reality it was Vin Diesel, and he stole mm. his car. First mistake, and it happened to be a senator's car. And uh, the guy instantly freaks out because he peels off in his car, and uh, then he uh, stops real quick. Well, I think the cops are already chasing him at that point, and his friends like hook up. I thought they were gonna like part the car out, right, like real fast, but no, they just stick cameras on it. And uh, give him a parachute, and he like drives. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Then he's like, it's some video he does, like I guess internet stuff, and he's just like, hey everybody, this is Senator Dick's car. Dick, you're being a dick because you tried to get video games pulled off the shelf and rap music and shit band. <laughs> yeah, because Vin Diesel. Or er, he's like a weird sport activist in this. He's a people's yeah. champ. It sounds like. But yeah, he he takes the, the senator's car uh, while he's filmed talking shit, calling him a dick. And hits a conveniently placed ramp, <laughs> and as the car is bailing off the fucking bridge, he pulls his parachute. That that was the that was part of the preview. I remember. Yeah, yeah. it was part of the preview. Right? And I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" Then he goes to a party, or no, no, Tony Hawk's with him. Wait, hold on, say, wait, wait. Dave Mira's in it as well. I got, I got, I got, and I got Matt stop, Hoffman. Yeah. I gotta stop you right there. My fucking fingers are about to melt because I'm air playing the guitar so goddamn hard right after you said he bailed from the car and the parachute. That is rocking. Oh dude. yeah, I, I looked over at Whitehead and I go, "Hey man," and because he was, he wasn't sure halfway in until he actually seen it or not. I go, "Just so you know, this movie's a product of its time, and it's basically a can of explode." If you remember those, explode, <laughs> explode, and he's yeah, right. Yeah. I think I yeah it really is. I was like, this is like a can explode. Yeah, that's how I remember it as well. Yeah, open strong. When he uh, Tony Hawk's just like pulls up, he's in the back seat of his friend's car, and like you know the car he jumped off the bridge blows up, and their friends go and collect the cameras really quick. Quick and like Tony Hawk's just like in awe, like oh my fucking god, you're crazy, Dude, Xander. Even Xander. even Tony Hawk was fucking amazed by how extreme. And I and I was like, "What the fuck, Tony Hawk's in this?" And Fletcher's like, "Yeah, it's Tony Hawk playing Tony Hawk." Dude, this sounds. I, I'm pretty sure yeah, he's supposed to actually be Tony Hawk because 
like Hudson was just saying, Dave Mirrors, Dave Mirror and, and Matt Hoffman, the BMXer, he's Matt Hoffman in it. They like, never actually say Tony Hawk, but I'm like, that's supposed to be Tony They Hawk. literally tried to emphasize the fucking extremity. Like, honestly, though, this is sounding three times more extreme than uh, I remember, you know, yeah. Yeah. triple it. But then he goes to a party, gets busted. By the, the NSA. NSA. The NSA, because that's how the NSA works. Yes. Because they're like, it's all because Samuel Jackson's like, we need to recruit people that we can train so we get criminals and convicts and pro athletes. And mercenaries and shit, yeah. It, it's a very, the NSA just rolls with Samuel's plan pretty easy, I feel. And then from that point on, you realize, holy shit, they got a lot of tax breaks to film this in Eastern Europe. Oh, because yeah. you are immediately transported to Transylvania. And it's kind of cool. Like, I remember there were a lot of movies in the early aughts that were being made over there. Underworld. Like, Underworld, this. Um, Blood Rain, you know. I believe the second never, Blade as well. Second never, Blade, never saw yeah. Blood Rain. Uh, I don't think I did either. I never played those games. Either. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I haven't seen that. I forgot. But uh, yeah, it's just like all of a sudden, ooh, we got a little uh, little tax break, little there. Eastern European vibe going, I and mean, that's where the rest of the movie pretty much takes place. I mean, it's part of the plot point too. Yeah, that he's supposed to be in Europe. It's, it's not like they're trying to convince you. Oh, hey, this is New Orleans or something. Yeah. But. Do we want to spoil this whole thing for uh, everyone, or do you just want to talk about the movie generally? We can just talk about it generally. I just okay. wanted to set up that set first up, opening cause, part. Cause the opening scene is actually pretty cool because, like, I didn't know what was about to happen. Well, it's I remember, like, like, like I said, too. like I saw this one time around when it came out, and like a couple years saw 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 it later down the road. I never saw the second one with Ice Cube, and I never saw the third one of this that they made a couple what years the ago. Fuck? But it's only the second one with Vin Diesel. That Dude. one's called The Return of yeah. Xander Cage I mean, or something. I, I've never really thought it was a bad film. Yeah, there's some cringy moments. Yeah. But overall, like, when you think about what it was for the time and who it is and what they're dealing with, I, I told mean, you it, why it, it's, a, it's an entertainment. It's an oh, it, er, er, entertaining movie, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. still pretty good because, like, okay, the music is so a product of its time. <laughs> when the – when the uh, I'm pretty sure – correct me if I'm wrong, but when the uh, – what, what kind of car was it? Was it was a Corvette that I, goes off yeah, the bridge. Yeah, yeah when, he, when he jumps the Corvette off the bridge. Let I the th- bodies hit the floor. Let Whoa! the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> Dude, that's what I was saying. I was playing egg well, darts. God wrong. damn it. So the, cool, so the coolest thing that could be playing was playing at the time. Totally. For the time. For the time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, you know, it just. There's a couple. Because I, I, I don't want to shit on this movie too hard. I don't know if Jason Carpenter really likes it or not. But we're just going to be honest about it, brother. I couldn't tell if you really liked the movie or not by his comment. I was like, well, we'll watch it, but yeah, I can't say that. It's, I don't know, it's one of those. It's like I told you. It's, it's, like, it's like, to me, it's like a fucking super, like, extra goofy, gritty James Bond. Like I told you, it's a product of its time. It's one of those ones, it's not that bad at all. Yeah. But it's not great either. It did, like it, I said, one thing I did enjoy about rewatching, I was like, I will have to give this movie props. All the action stuff, I mean, yeah, there's some CGI moments here and there, but it's mostly like, elemental stuff but like when there's someone flying on a motorcycle it's really a dude flying on a motorcycle super high doing a jump yeah or like that, the thing with the car off the bridge that yeah that, that's that's legit and I, that, that that's that's easy to appreciate and stuff and when yeah. you, if you think about you know the pitch in a vacuum on paper at the time when it was done which is at a moment like when people were complaining about James Bond getting stale and like you know Brosnan, two out there Bro- Brosnan had been oh this is right know, this is right before uh, Casino Royale too. yeah this yeah. is before the big yeah. Bond reboot that oh, kind of yeah. brought it back and made it a little harder edgier grittier yeah. but you know we'd already seen a Bourne movie at least by this point mm-hmm. but but if you're if you're thinking about the concept on paper which is let's make a spy movie but the spies like uh e sport x sports athlete like the, yeah. you know it's it, it kind of tracks you know i the, mean the, yeah no this is like james bond for the mountain dew kids of 2002 yeah i mean yeah that was but the big the shit going the on then you know but yeah, like yeah, the yeah, further the movie went the further they got away from the extreme sport it, oh yeah because like i don't what their little business model they had going on seems so weird it's like if you're gonna do like how did he make money? If you're gonna film crimes and make money off of it, make a like is Xander really your name? I hope not. With with, with the idea of uh, with the idea of him being a, an extreme athlete, uh, like turning James Bond, it almost sounds like it almost sounds like, hey, did you guys? You know, it's like obviously we all knew you could get a lot of pussy playing sports. Did you guys know you could also get nice a lot nice amount of pussy being a spy as well? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you have to suspend your disbelief at some point too, because it's like, oh, by the way, by the way, Ian, he's also like a fucking genius. Oh, yeah, my yeah, like God. Yeah, yeah. his street smarts are my so on, head. so yeah, high. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, sorry, sorry. I didn't know if you knew that, but yeah, uh, they just casually like, uh, no, he, he's also just I, like a fucking. You know, genius. I played myself because, because yeah. like. Uh, the uh, tests they put him through are kind of stupid, really. Yeah, because like, I can't remember. The, the, like it's been forever. The diner like, scene years. stood out to me because like he's in, he wakes he gets like tranked and he wakes up in a diner and uh, he's like, "How did I get here?" And it's daytime and she's like, "Oh, two big guys dropped you off." Said to look after you. Yeah. No. What what, what year is coming out? You say two thousand two. Yeah. So, it, but anyway, he's like he's like looking around confused and like looks at her at the at the waitress is like big meaty uh, cankles. and <laughs> has got uh, high heels I can't on. describe it. It's fucking weird. She did have huge cankles. Big old thick cankles. Some gams. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, but he's like, he's trying to figure something out and I didn't get, I didn't get what he was looking at. Um, but then she like hands him a cup of coffee and uh, he picks it up and sees there's 911 scrawled on the uh, napkin. On the napkin and he's just like, and then the guy, then like the guy next to him like jumps up. He's like, freeze! And I think the guy behind him pulls a shotgun. Like, like the like hunter and robbed. then the businessman both jump up with guns. They're like, uh, we're robbing the place. And yeah. he like, you know, just casually b- b- punches the one guy with the gun and just walks up to the dude with the shotgun and like grabs it, punches him in the face and he's like, all right, are we done? Like, what? what What's the going fuck? on? Yeah, I know. Like, what is this? All this is fake. And he's oh, like, is- while Sam Jackson slow cap clapping in the background oh in a booth, God. and like, he's like, "How'd you know?" or whatever. And uh, Xander's all like, "Look, man. Okay, I'm in this diner, and I wake up. Right, I see this guy packing a copish Beretta, or he says a police issue Beretta. He was like, there's a stockbroker reading the Financial Times on a Sunday." Most likely not when the markets are closed. So fucking but maybe observing. he's like, I'll buy it, maybe. He's like, but where you fucked up is with her. My aunt worked in the restaurant industry for 35 fucking years, and she would never wear high heels to work. She'd have uh, blisters the size of pancakes by noon. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. And then knock him out again and send him on another fucking dumb test. Dude, because O2, if I'm not mistaken, this is after... They've had a couple. He 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 is Fast and Furious by 2002. Oh, real, real quick to touch on that, 2002. This movie came out. They greenlit it because when 2001 Fast and Furious came out, it was such a big hit. Same directors, the fir- very first Fast and Furious movie, Rob Cohen, and then they did this the year after because the first Fast and Furious was such a big hit that like uh, whoever made this like greenlit it like a motherfucker at Sony. And he's already been Riddick as he was well. Bankable. And I'm not talking about. He's, talking about I'm talking Black. about Pitch Black. Yeah. Pitch Black Riddick. yeah. Like, where it was like, remember that dude? Vin, Vin Diesel was bankable right now. V- I, I was always confused why they made a, gave him his own movie. I was like, he was just a character in that other movie. I thought the same thing. But, but fucking, but dude, by 2002, Vin Diesel was the baddest, coolest, baldest. Top five, I don't know if he was number one. Yeah, baldest, top five sexiest, baddest motherfuckers on the planet. Like, right now, there was a bald, this is what I called the baldizance, because like, the same year, the transporter came out with Jason Statham, mm-hmm. and it was a, like a Baldison's coming out or something of like bald badass dudes. But he was the they're swole, good cars. He was the swole one though. Yeah, remember he was so big, like because uh, uh, oh, uh, man, God, you got a crush movie. over there, Ian. It was. I just. I. I'm just now remembering like how fucking like dreamy. How <laughs> many. A, how many action movies he was in. He was actually For a minute in around there, that yeah. time with a fucking wife beater on. You yeah, know what you're I mean? absolutely like, right. He, 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 black he, he, or white tank top. Yeah. Ian's like on. putting a blanket over his crotch right now. Yeah. He's got yeah, a pillow I, well, conspicuously. I mean, yeah, no, nah, he's he's freaking hot. Like I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, dude. But yeah. he was, and and then like in the way. And he like always played like the same character. I may look like a big dumb lug to you and shit, and may crush a bunch of pussy, but I, I did, and I do I, those things. I dropped out of Harvard, bro, because my fuck it, because I had to, man. Well, real quick before we before we shit on him too much, I don't know if you know this, Whitehead. This is, and I know you've probably heard it about uh, Vin Diesel. This is true. Die hard, like spent a shit ton of money, and totally would throw down if he came in this room right now. Apparently, he's a die hard D and D dude. What? No bullshit. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. Hosts a weekly game with, uh, and he's gotten different. I think he's gotten other celebrities to come in and play before, like maybe The Rock. Oh, that's awesome. Before they had their 
Dude, could I you, can't remember if it was The Rock. It might have been someone else, but like he's tried to get other celebrities into it. But like, yeah, he's. Could but he's, you he's, imagine? He's a, could you imagine Vin Diesel leading your fucking question <laughs> shit, and then you drop it and bust his fucking jaw with the like with your fucking eighty inch bicep? Like he was huge, man. But yeah, um, the first movie is the best one. Again, I had not seen the most recent one, and I never saw the Ice Cube one. I'm assuming because they never made a sequel to that, that this is still the best one. Yeah. I'm um, going to cut the Ice Cube on a TV. Was it better than you thought it would be? Yeah, because like, whenever they get into the, like, the spy shit, that was actually pretty cool. Like some of the gadgets in that cool revolver he had? Yeah, like, yeah, they gave him a tactical revolver with like trait darts and, and shit. fake shots and stuff like squid that would have like a blood impact yeah and like that that shit was cool and then like i don't know like all the spy shit was really neat and like i don't know he actually used it the uh the, the i'm like you though i agree with something you said last night there's one part where they kind of get back in extreme sports and he has to snowboard and there's like this weird cgi avalanche eh. it just goes on for too long that kind of took me out of it too a little bit yeah because like the further they like i said the further they get away from the extreme sport uh, version Stuff. of this guy, the cooler it gets. Because like when he's fucking around with uh, the gr- the hardest gang ever, where Anarchy ninety nine, Anarchy ninety nine. I will crush this microphone, dude. Um, <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool. Like, it's it's good. He's like good villain. They're they're like, hey, like we want actor. you to infiltrate this place, and a cop like brings him to the, like a bar they own. Like the leader is there, and uh, he just he's like. The cop's like, uh, yeah, yeah, he's up there. The owner's up there, you know. He runs this, like, five places like this, or 60, I don't remember. Yeah. And he's like, oh, okay, watch this. And he goes and just, like, barges in. He's like, hey, are you the guy I need to talk to about buying cars? Vin, Vin barges in? Yeah, and they're like, what? and then, like, the, the the big men around in the room are just like, hold up, hold up, motherfucker. And he's, uh, he's like, no, come on. You know, oh, hey, that's a. That guy's a cop, right? Oh my god! Blowing then, everybody's spot and, and, up. Yeah, he's just a he's a dick, but it's funny. Yeah, they, but he, uh, he get he gets results because he now. gets them in with them, and yeah, because they're like, yeah, we hate fucking cops, dude. But um, no, I'm digging the rabbit down there as well. Yeah, Hudson's looking up funny Nick Cage pictures right now on the big monitor, and it's killing dude, me. Scroll what? up a little bit though. That mouth, that big ass mouth he had, that was uh, it's it's right up there in the top right, top left corner. There it is. Uh. <laughs> In, in honor of Vin Diesel, look up Vin Diesel little face. I've seen yeah, that. It's I, weird. I, I have okay. not, but I do want. I do want to see, see it. But um, I will say this: as far as spy movies, and I'm not trying to be too mean, I would rather watch mostly any other James Bond movie or any Jason Bourne movie compared to just this, because I think this probably is the best one. They've only made three of these triple X movies. Yeah, because I remember trying to watch the second one around the time it like hit rental places, and I just couldn't get into it. I remember that being a big flop. I remember it coming out, and Ice Cube was like, "Check what he's doing." Isn't that one called Triple X State of the Union? Yeah, it is. Yeah. The the only thing I remember that kind of looked cool from that one from the trailers is at one point they they show uh, Samuel Jackson, who's very cool in this by the way. He's cool scar. He's like a pre Nick Fury. Uh, he just, like, wields up two, like, chrome uh, ballers or something, like, from Hitman, because something's going on. And I was like, oh, shit, he's going to do some stuff in that that one, because all he does is kind of hang out in this first one. But I love Samuel, so whatever. Yeah, yeah, I do, too. He's like, like, it's like I don't know, he, at one point, he's like, you, you fuck, here's your plane ticket. You go home. You're done. Your cover's blown. And I he's, did it for you, yeah. And he's just like, no, nah, <laughs> no, nah, I want to stay. There's a girl. And he's just like. No, sweeper team's coming in, bro. Get out of here. Not to mention, that's my sister. Encourages him to go and save the day. And he's yeah. just like, was there ever a sweeper team? And he was just like, <laughs> no, I believed in you. I encouraged you. Oh, my God. Dude. I, I, he's crafty. I love that face. He's crafty. Dude, Vin Diesel Vin Diesel in the early 2000s was senpai. And fucking look at uh, Bruce Willis and fucking uh, Sylvester Stallone, Stallone, dude. I hate it. And that little head. <laughs> Dude, the the fucking Beetlejuice little head, uh, Vin Diesel. That that's a good one too. But it just looks right. The collar on the shirt. <laughs> yeah, I don't I, like these little face pictures. I've seen I've people with chins up. like that. I feel, uh, dude, our um, uh, um, we went to uh, we went to high school with uh, a, a fucking gym teacher with a goddamn chin that motherfucking big and long. <laughs> <laughs> 
his calves were big and motherfucking fat like that too. I'm not gonna say his first name, but his last name was Wilkins. Oh shit. Yeah. But uh, back to Triple X though. Uh, I like I do enjoy the villain in this. I like that actor a lot. Yeah. Uh, who, who was he? He who was he the was the bad guy in the first Equalizer movie. His name's uh, Martin Koshex, if I'm getting that right, or Cossex. He's like a blonde headed dude. No, he's a dark haired guy. He's actually New Zealand, but he always seems to play like Eastern European. He's been in Kingdom of Heaven and stuff like that. He's actually a really, really good actor. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, dude, I just... I wish you would have been here to watch it with this movie. Yeah, sometimes. this guy. Yeah, he did a really good job in it. The smoking okay. guy didn't really... That guy was fucking that nasty. That creepy looking. I mean, I smoke cigarettes, but could you imagine wanting to live inside cigarette smoke? Man, Can no. you imagine liking cigarettes that much, Ian? <laughs> no. Or anything? I smoke too, nah. That, that's a line in that movie. He's like, I love smoking. I could, I would smoke in my sleep if I could. I would live in smoking. Like, that gang was just weird. Yeah. Mm. Or group or whatever the hell you want to call them. Uh, Hudson, before we get out of here, you got anything you want to say on Triple uh, X? I can't, you know, my final thoughts are, you know, during the, the aughts, the, the 2000, 2010 ter- period, there were a lot of knockoff spy movies that came out that were far, far worse than this. Yeah. Um, yeah, like real failures that did not spawn any sequels at all. Some of and all again, fears, like born. Yeah, Identity. but I'm, I'm even thinking like, um, oh, what's that weird one with Eddie Murphy and Owen Wilson? Oh, I Spy. I Spy. Oh, like yeah. shit oh, like and that. Bad Company with Bad. Anthony Hopkins yeah, and Chris Rock. Yeah, 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 yeah you're yeah. right. This Just was better than those. Kind of like Cop Out. Yeah, <laughs> ish. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Same hate, vein I of me. I hate that movie. But uh, it's not funny. I mean, hell, but we'll get on it. Like, to it later. It, it's a fun fucking movie to watch if you go into it with the right mindset. You know, yeah. like I said, this is the third time I probably ever watched it, but I had a good time watching you guys yeah. last night, and it was fun. And again, I wish you would have been here. Yeah, I, I shit on, I, you know, I kind of shit on, it, I'm cracking jokes. And we weren't like too that. harsh on it, but but, but no, you know, it's a good fair. movie. But uh, but like honest, honestly, I'm not trying to sound biased or anything like that. Like for what it is and stuff like that. And I think I think uh, I think you were saying this last night too when we were talking on the phone, Matt. But like uh, for what it is. Like you know, like not that bad. Like you know, a- yeah. action action pack, fucking you know, all the shit and stuff like that. It's got that. some good cars. Yeah, yeah. it does. It, it's got some solid cars. Someone someone took time with that, and which like I appreciate saying, the stunt work. <laughs> yeah. Just stunt work, just amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, think, Ian's our car guy, so you yeah, know, yeah, I'll yeah, let him talk about it. Be the car guy earlier. But, yeah, that's why got I'm, here. I'm the car guy. So but um, fucking Ford. I don't know. Why did your <laughs> final thoughts, brother? Being that you never saw it till last night. Uh, better than the sequel with Ice-T or Cube or whoever. <laughs> I'm Cube. sorry. It's don't, Cube. Don't, I will, don't I will hit pop me. your jaws. Yeah. Yeah, don't so, hit me. Um, it's West Coast. But, yeah, I would watch it again. Like, that was down the road sometimes. That was a, I don't know. That was a good enough movie to be like, yeah, if I just wanted to fucking watch a. Have something on the background silly, while you're doing just something. Just a silly movie because it gets yeah. silly sometimes. It does. And, and, and it's, it is. And it's good. It's it's also this is my last thought on it too, but it's also just good to watch. It's like like a little trip down memory lane with the music. Yeah, like yeah. like like some of those songs that are playing like, I, you know, it's when you listen to music from that time period. I'm like, oh, I'm in junior high again. I'm pretty sure Headstrong came on at one point. No, dude, I said, back off, dude. I no, will take no, you. I, on. I actually, I said something okay. about Headstrong. Oh, trapped. Uh, yeah, it it, it it would fit <laughs> fit though. I, I guess my final thought on it is. It is really one of those things, like, it's like going back to your middle school or whenever this came out, your high school yearbook, or, like, seeing a picture of yourself, like, in a jacket or something. Like, totally. Oh, why did I think that jacket was kind of cool? Bro, because I, cause I, I... Well, I, that was the style, though, back then. It's kind of like that for me. That, that's how... I, I agree. I feel I feel the same way, because whenever y'all were talking about, like, the spy movies from... The other spy movies from that, I hadn't mm-hmm. seen them, and I was like... Because I'm like, damn, what a... You know... I had hoop dreams in middle school, but that's another podcast. <laughs> yeah. By the way, every one of those films you me- we mentioned, the knockoffs, were from actually O two. Yeah, the same that's exact year. Yeah, M- well, maybe I Spy might have been O three. Triple X wins. I'm pretty sure it's O two, but uh, the real Triple X. <laughs> again, though, because you've never watched the Bond movies, I will say if you enjoyed this, you would probably actually kind of enjoy Die Another Day, and that's yeah. one of the Dude, Pierce more ludicrous, cool. ludicrous <laughs> like. That's one of the more frowned upon James Bond movies. What I mean, but the, I actually kind of do enjoy like that the one. The, the one James Bond movie I watched that I really enjoyed, and I was I was younger when I watched it. I haven't watched it since, but I just remember like, oh man, I've seen, I've seen some James Bond, old and newer. I didn't really care for it, but then I watched Octopussy. Yeah, and, and I, I like was Octopussy. so blown away by Octopussy and some of the silly shit they did in it. I was like, brightly colored bitches. Descending from a, a hot air balloon, 
How are you sneaking into that base? Bond is one of those things that it's been around for so long. There's been so many. It's its own genre. And so many people have been involved with it. It really is. It it has periods. It has periods where they're super serious. I, I mean, and then there's the fucking silly, crazy ones. And it's like, it is its own genre because... If you, you can take two movies from two different time periods, and, and if you show, showed them to an alien and he didn't know that it's the same character, they'd be like, "No, there's no way these what? two movies are about the same guy." But they're just so fucking crazy. So a lot of a lot of it comes down to just what you prefer within. Fletcher has stood up yeah. and is looming over us. No, no, I was actually I just had a good it's cold idea. Cold in a shadow. Um, what would you say about this, Whitehead? <laughs> Before farting. we wrap this triple X no, episode I didn't, no, up, I didn't, no, I didn't. How about because we got all of them? We start doing, like, our little one-off episodes. We, me and Hudson, you said you want to go through them sequentially. That was your thing. You want to start from the very first one, Dr. No. Because you've never seen any of the Craig ones either, correct? I no, know, I, no I I've know. seen Casino Royale and, uh... Okay. What, what, what's the one after? Quantum of Solace? Yeah. What's the one after that? Skyfall? Skyfall. Yeah. Okay, I, th- I know I've seen Casino Royale. I liked it. I might... Ha- I'm pretty sure I've seen Quantum of Solace. I don't really remember much of it. I might not have seen it. A lot of it takes place in South America. Octopussy, the one where Brosnan is in the back of the car. Tomorrow Never Dies. Tomorrow Never Dies. I've seen that one. That one, as much as I don't really care for uh, Brosnan, it was was decent. But you've never actually seen Goldeneye. I don't think so. I enjoyed Brosnan. Before we get into Bond, how about this? Me and Hudson will take the journey with you, and we'll watch him from the first one, the 1962 Dr. No to current. Sometime. Yeah, because we bo- we've both seen I, all I of them. I want to roll on that too. A couple I, times, I, I yeah. Because I've got movies. every one of them on Blu-ray. Nice. Uh, well, obviously, I'm, not I'm the newest down. one, but we, uh, you want to do it just like a solid block, or uh, <laughs> well, I, I can bring one or, or, yeah. cu- or whatever. And we'll, yeah. if we have nothing to watch, we'll just do a, a Bond episode. Okay. So, Jason Carpenter, thank you for this idea, man. It's kind of inspired by you. Woo. If we wouldn't have done this triple X, I never would have thought of that. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. thanks. Yeah, because I've never seen this movie, and uh, now I have. Thank you. All right, we'll catch everyone in the next one. Hey, hey and if anyone oh, has any other, uh, or I mean, suggestions. If anyone has a suggestion for a or movie, confusion, yeah, or whatever. If there's any movie you guys want us to watch, uh, throw a comment in throw one of the comment videos. Or, yeah, we should really get Twitter and email or something. But we're <laughs> we're <laughs> fuck that. Yeah, we're, we're thirty. <laughs> 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 it's, it's it's we're still young and cool. We're still young and cool. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Wash your hands.